Well, in just a couple of hours, church services begin at Fox Island Alliance Church in Gig Harbor. It's the place where a community is gathering this morning to remember Monty and Sue Multanen, the two people shot and killed by their son-in-law. The shooter is Alan Myron, a Pierce County deputy who also killed himself. King 5's Owen Lay talked to people who knew the family as detectives try to come up with a possible motive. This is Monty and Sue Multanen of Vancouver, Washington, and in this photo they clearly come across as proud grandparents. It has not been easy for relatives and friends of Alan Myron's family to understand why Myron would kill the Multanens, his in-laws. Your reaction is just shock, complete and total shock, because that's not the Alan that we knew at all. Karen Cheney runs a nearby Bible bookstore and knows the family well. But I just happened to run into him at Fred Meyer a few weeks ago and he was happy. His face was, I even told him, I go, Alan, you don't look as tired as you used to, as I, the last time I saw you. And um, he was glad to be back at work. Myron apparently had been on leave from the Pierce County Sheriff's Department after back surgery. But Friday night, those deputies responded to his home for a domestic dispute. After Myron shot his in-laws, his mother-in-law crawled out of the house and died after being airlifted to Harborview. Deputies later found the father-in-law's body inside the home. Deputy Myron did talk with officers for several hours. There had been quite a bit of ongoing negotiating prior to, obviously, the, the gunshot. Tacoma police say that gunshot happened at 9.45. After clearing the scene inch by inch, they found Myron alone. He was barricaded mm -hmm, in the upstairs um, bedroom when they found him. Myron was dead, apparently having shot himself. They all got along, it seemed like, and it was really shocking. Friends and neighbors hung flowers outside Kopachuk Middle School today, a place where his daughter once attended, Deputy Myron's 15-year-old daughter, who, along with a friend, may have witnessed the murders of her grandparents. At some point during those negotiations, we're told Myron's daughter and her friend did get out of that house safely. Myron's wife and kids are accounted for and safe this morning.